hi before we dive into the video today i want to just specify on some disclaimers this series in a child magic is only to spread awareness it's not a professional help series so if you're looking for professional help please contact the professionals but on this series we only dive into the benefits of inner child magic and how inner child affects our life our potential and who we can be all of the content in this video is either personal experience research done by me or the studies which i had done in my psychology degree right so these are the things which i collected made sense of connected the dots which i will be sharing on this series some of the content in this series might trigger you which only means that you need to work on those things that are triggering you please be informed that this information that i will be sharing with you is not a permanent solution it is only for becoming aware and acknowledging whether there is an inner child wound or not it is just a reference material to identify if you have lost that magic during your childhood or not this is so important that if you are looking for professional help please contact the professionals available all over the world around you not this channel this channel only is made for the sole purpose of increasing awareness about our inner child and since i am a psychic i am directly sometimes channeling from the divine right it does not have to have logic sometimes because i am not a logical person i'm an intuitive person use your discernment with the content that i give you some might resonate with you some might not resonate with you so take what resonates with you and leave what does not resonate with you because it might resonate with somebody else finally i hope this series helps you come back home to yourself love and light hello gorgeous souls welcome to my channel i am turquoise enchantress here with you today and i am so grateful for your presence here i am an intuitive artist which means i use my psychic abilities to channel the messages from the divine through art tarot writing and content creation on this channel we believe in living in our authentic truth as consciously as possible so we can create magic and be guided back to our purpose if you are interested in evolving emotionally mentally physically and spiritually then do subscribe because i post videos every saturday do not forget to like share comment to show me love and support now let's get into some promotions hi unicorn so if you are interested in knowing more about the magical aspects of inner child magic then i have my first book which i published in 2019 available on amazon flipkart and google books the title would be inner child magic uh, by shravanti batla so if you can find that by just searching that you can do so if not then the links will be in the description below if you are interested in showing your love and support for the work that i do you can also visit my website at www.turquoiseenchantress.com i create acrylic art workbooks self-help guides and recently i just published a new ebook which is all about the key to unconditional love or if you're interested in booking a personal tarot reading with me then do check out my website and book your slot the tarot reading i offer are exclusively only available at turquoise enchantress store i also offer customized paintings and uh, gifting artworks for you and your loved ones with love and light so if you're interested in getting for yourself or the ones you love 
then do contact me on my email id which will be again available in my description i also have a podcast where i channel the messages from the divine through poems stories and some channel messages which i feel called to downloaded messages so if you're interested in listening to something while you're working on your things then do follow me at uh, turquoise academy and if you are more of a visual type of person then i have got you covered boo because i have a tarot channel which is enchantress's tarot the links will be in the description you can also follow me on my socials which are mentioned below to get the latest updates on what am i working on what is coming up on turquoise enchantress and all of that juice now that we are done with our promotions let's get into inner child magic so i hope i'm looking magical for you to know what is inner child magic <laughs> just kidding what is inner child magic inner child magic is a new series that we are starting on my channel and the sole purpose of this series on my channel is to spread awareness about our inner child and its wounds and how we can begin our healing process it is to help people break themselves free from any chains holding them back from being their authentic self and it is also for those who think there is no light in this world to bring some light back into your life before you dive into this beautiful series that i have for you today i just want you to remember this crucial crucial point one i am not blaming disrespecting trying to point fingers at any culture religion or way of living second thing i am not trying to trigger you i'm just trying to help you third thing i am not disrespecting or blaming any parents or their way of upbringing i'm just trying to help souls become better parents or let me rephrase that better humans and understanding emotions and how they play an important role in our lives this is not a professional helpline for your healing journey this is a reference series to become aware so you can take the required measures to progress in your healing journey finally i am not judging anyone i am not putting anyone down i have had my own wounds which is why i'm sharing this series because when i was going through my healing journey i wish somebody would have posted more about this inner child work which i really craved for when i was going through my healing journey so what are we waiting for let's turn lemons to lemonade in today's video we will be diving into how a father wound can be seen within us during our childhood during our growing up and during our adult life when we have a father wound within us during an early age when we are children we start to portray ourselves or create a personality of who we are as a strong person so we portray ourselves as strong hard and sometimes and sometimes we might come out as rude and overconfident or cocky this is to protect ourselves our inner child does this to protect itself so other people can't see what we are feeling and this is the manifestation of the father wound which is far from the truth and what this does is this makes the child to show himself as somebody who is strong and does not need anybody so there is hyper independency shown in our early age as a child this father wound can also make a child punish his father by doing the things that the father figure does not like purposely to punish him for not loving him the father wound can also make a child feel like the emotions being vulnerable is weak and they avoid showing their emotions too much because that is a sign of weakness which they do not want the world to know so these children generally 
do not cry when they get hurt they just get blank and numb their feelings during this stage and because of all these unresolved emotions and stuck emotions within them they start to act out in rebellious ways because of the father wound they start not caring about what other people have to say what are the rules what are um, other people telling us for our own good they do not care they are trying to escape from the demons that the emotions have become within them because of suppressing them for too long so they usually carry the attitude of i will do what i want <laughs> i was one of them so <laughs> So while growing up, that is the transition from the childhood to the adulthood, we have this teen phase, which is when the father wound starts to portray or project itself through us in a strong way. This is usually during the school and the college phase. So during this time, when we have a father wound, we will start performing or doing things taking actions for the validation of other people for receiving love appreciation from others we do this in an unconscious way where we, we do not realize why is it that we need to be the winner but we need to be the winner and this is coming from the father wound within us because there is this deep sense of feeling within because of this father wound that we are not enough we are not uh, enough to be loved that's that makes us feel unworthy and to cope this feeling of unworthiness that we feel within because of the father wound we start to overachieve overdo ourselves over exaggerate um over exert ourselves to be something that we are not but that is what the outside world appreciates outside world recognizes outside world validates and because of this father wound and seeking validation from others can hook us up in this cycle of constantly wanting to do things that are only appreciated we do not engage in things that we might feel called or we actually might enjoy but we do things that will give us the validation that we feel that we need right so we start to lose track of what is it that we actually like and what is it that people like of us we lose track of what we think and what others think because we start to merge into what other people validate what other people appreciate and because we want that validation we start to abandon what we like what we think slowly and at some point of time we lose track and we cannot differentiate what is it that we want and what is it that the public wants or the external validation whoever is it that we are looking from wants it becomes one right there is no differentiation anymore and this leads to the disconnection of self we get so disconnected from ourselves we do not know how is it that we need to function when there is nothing to compete for because we are always in a competition and unconsciously because of this father wound within us we might be unconsciously doing this to get validation from others so other people can validate us maybe if you were a uh, um fighting to be the first in the class to get validation from school so indirectly the father figure that disapproved you can approve you so what happens with this father wound within us is that we are unconsciously taking actions and doing everything to get the validation of the father figure to get the love of the father figure and because of this father wound we can be intimidated by other men who are confident in who is it that they are right we might feel triggered we might feel like they're intimidating us or some of us can feel scared of other men and we do not trust them because they're not doing everything for the validation and most of the men that are confident have worked on their healing journey or some might not have this father wound 
because they had the proper things and their needs were met or they healed right either of those we do not know what's their story but what it does it if we see some if we have a father wound and if we see somebody else doing things that we are not able to do because that's not what that's not something that gets external validation we get triggered we get intimidated we feel angry and we start to feel like how dare you <laughs> you know so this can be stemming from the sense of you feeling that we are not lovable we are not worthy of love we are not worthy of anything so this can stop us from uh looking for meaningful relationships we start to use relationships as something to make us feel like we are something if you see most of the men and women who engage in meaningless relationships it comes from this deep father wound within them they do this so they can validate themselves that they have dated so many people so many people want them but if you heal that father wound you will know that one meaningful relationship is so much more valuable than all of the meaningless relationships that you have been involved in the father wound within us makes us feel that the meaningless relationships not only protect us but also gives us an external validation that we are high in demand yeah it's it's kind of an external validation a people pleasing tendency that we actually go for to satisfy our ego and this ego comes in to protect the inner child within us which already has the father wound because we are always looking for this external validation we always find ourselves constantly in race we want to be the first in everything we want to be the best in everything right and it's constantly a race of achieving anything at any cost and this is why some of the men become power hungry because because they're functioning from the place of wound and what this does is it can make them very heartless to protect their heart and they can hurt other people on the way to get what is it that they want and sometimes even if we get into a meaningful relationship with somebody it is only when we unconsciously choose partners who mimic what a father figure does to us which has caused the father wound in the first place if a father figure was emotionally unavailable to you you choose to have meaningful relationships with people partners who are the same emotionally unavailable to you because that is something you're familiar with and you know how to deal with it because your inner child um who has that father wound tells you that they know how to deal with it but what it does is you're repeating the cycle of hurt the pain which caused the father wound in the first place now as adults how this father wound manifests in our lives is by leading us to deny our own needs our own likes to be accepted and loved by others we abandon our likes our needs what is it that we want to do what are our dreams so we can be loved and liked by others and this causes us to lose our identity lose ourselves lose our individuality and this can um make us wary of the men who are actually having their independence who have their individuality not just men even women if the woman is stronger than you then um if a woman is stronger then the men with the father wound can get triggered or if a man is confident a woman with the father wound can get triggered and she will stay away from that man instead of learning from that man because she feels that that is something dangerous the next thing what this father wound can do for us is that it can always keep us in this energy that we will be rejected because we are expecting the least the worst all the time 
Have you ever noticed yourself in any situation you expect the worst of every situation when we can also expect the best? This is stemming from the father wound with it. Because we have this deep sense of rejection that we might have received or felt from our father figures which we continue to dwell on till we choose to heal it consciously. And because of this father wound within us, we are always one step in and one step out in our relationships because we do not trust the other person fully because we are not able to trust ourselves fully and we have that fear that we will be rejected at one point or another so we are always constantly avoiding people um, make it very hard for other people to know us get to know us because we are scared that if they know who is it that we truly are then we will be rejected and because of this constant running hiding it can make us feel lost confused and without purpose and soon living for so long without a purpose feeling lost feeling confused it becomes our normal because we feel that this is how life is and this is normal and to fill the void this feeling of normal this feeling of normal that we adopt to and to protect ourselves or to fill the void that we feel deep within we start to engage in toxic behavior and toxic habits. this can be dominating controlling oppressing abusing um, substance abuse shaming others all of these habits behaviors stem because there is a father wound within which needs healing but when we neglect that we avoid it because we are not ready to accept there is a father wound we engage in these toxic behaviors which we do not know why is it that we engage in we just enjoy it we tell ourselves that we are enjoying it but in reality it is an escape mechanism that we use to protect ourselves do not feel those emotions that we have been feeling within. Now let's dive into types of father wound. Now there are two major types of father wound that we can go through. One is having a bad experience with a father figure. The second is not having good experiences with a father figure. Now let's dive deep into it to understand. Now first let's dive into the bad experiences with the father figure which can cause a father wound within us. If a father figure was dismissive, avoidant of us, he didn't give us much attention and if we wanted something from them, they would just be like, come later, not now, then that can cause a father wound. This is something that a child can label as a bad experience. If a father figure had addictions which caused him to have um, unpredictable behavior around the child, it can have a father wound effect on the child. If the father figure was critical and was very demanding of how the child needs to be, then that can cause a father wound. If a father figure was abusive, would harm you as a sort of punishment or if you did something wrong then that can cause a father wound within the child if a father figure abandoned you when you needed him or abandoned you physically or the family it can lead us to have a father wound now let's dive into how not having good experiences with the father figure can lead us to have a father wound if a father figure didn't play with us because he had a busy schedule at work he didn't spend much time at home you would see him only at night and that also when he's coming to rest then that can lead us to feel that he is neglecting us which can cause us to have a father wound. if a father figure didn't listen to you didn't wasn't curious about what was happening in your life that can also lead us to have a father wound if the father figure didn't show you attention or affection or showed you very little affection only when you did something which was great and they would be like good you know 
all of that can lead you to feel that you were not supported by your father figure which can again lead to having a father wound if a father figure rarely said i love you i care for you i support you you know the words of affirmations if he never used them for you that can lead us to have a father wound because as a child he needs affirmations he needs validation he needs to hear those words from a father figure and not having that can lead a child to have a father wound finally the last thing in this is when a father figure was emotionally absent or mentally absent sometimes physically absent this can lead us to have a father wound um now let me just explain that in a brief um physically if he was um not there in the picture if he was never there in the picture or if he was there in the picture but really wasn't there right <laughs> i mean you get that right now mentally how if he was struggling with some mental health issues he was not able to mentally be there for you you know be your support system that can cause us to have a father wound and emotionally if he wasn't well in touch with his emotions if he was also having in a child wounds that can cause him to have this numbing of emotions right and um because of those unresolved issues within him he can come out as emotionally unavailable which again can cause a child to have father wound within them in the next video we will be diving into how a father wound affects men and how it can manifest in adults life so i hope you like today's video do like share and you so much love and light namaste